The July Twitch Prime bundle that came out this week has kind of rubbed me the wrong way a little bit because in terms of content compared to players who bought the Black Ops Pass, Twitch Prime members are getting significantly better items than, like I said, players who bought the Black Ops Pass. Um, allow me to explain. So. On screen now, I have everything that players get who are Twitch Prime members and have their accounts linked up to their Call of Duty profile. So, for the month of July, players get the Kilobyte Outfit, the Chomp Charm, the Bird of Prey Jump Kit, the Steam Soldier Calling Card, and then 100 Nebulum Plasma and 5 Reserve Cases. And then guess what the Black Ops Pass members get for this month? Literally just a couple of maps for multiplayer and then a one map for zombies. I just don't understand why Treyarch can't give players like just a few reserve cases, maybe even a weapon bribe or at least something else besides just a few maps for multiplayer which I hardly ever play that much of every day now and then a zombies map that I will never play because I still cannot rank up in tiers by playing zombies. Like it's honestly just a waste of time for a guy like me to play zombies unless I'm doing like contracts but um, I'm never gonna play zombies consistently until I can rank up in tiers, which I just don't see that happening. Um, but looking back now, when the Black Ops Pass first came out, if I knew that buyers would not be getting even just a tiny bit more support, then I truly would have saved my $50. I did go back and review everything that we have gotten so far for our $50, and I compared it to what we were promised for sure. So. For the Blackout characters, we already promised four free characters. We already have those, so I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any more free ones coming for the duration of the game. And those characters are Old Man Woods, Shadow Man, the Silverback Gorilla, and then Reaper. And for multiplayer, we currently have 10 maps, and we're supposed to be getting 12. So from now on until the end of the game, we're only going to be getting two more. And those maps are Elevation, Madagascar, Casino, Lockup, Masquerade, Artifact, WMD, Dershatten, Remnant, and Havana. So we're missing two more, like I said. And then for Zombies, we were promised five maps, and we have four so far. Um, so we're going to be getting one more. And those Zombies maps are Blood of the Dead, Dead of the Night, Ancient Evil, and then the newly released Alpha and Omega. Um, but if you buy the Black Ops Pass, you do get one more Zombies map, which is classified. And then for multiplayer, people also get Nuketown. And yeah, that's literally everything so far, plus a list of what's to come with the Black Ops Pass later, which is not much at all. However, I don't think it's fair to say that Black Ops Pass holders are getting hardly anything, but definitely the Twitch Prime content is better for sure. I could honestly count the number of times on my fingers where I've played each new multiplayer map from the Black Ops Pass. It's that hard to find lobbies for one, and two, I just don't have a desire to play them because they're simply not that good in my opinion. And three, I have a way more fun on Blackout Battle Royale than on multiplayer. So it could be buyer's remorse for sure, but at the same time, I expected players to be getting more value out of a pass that's close to the actual price of the damn game itself. Also in the description for the Black Ops Pass, it says that the content is subject to change, so it's not like I had gotten my hopes up for no reason at all. And we could still get something extra every month or something extra here and there, but I don't know. I just highly, highly doubt it. Again, I could be having buyer's remorse, but I just expected more. I expected more free content, like maybe a weapon once in a while or a weapon bribe, something like that every month, tier skips even. Just something extra that doesn't make me wish I regret buying this Black Ops Pass every single time a content update comes out for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Um, please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. Do you guys feel the same way? Do you have different opinions? Again, please tell me yours down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.